hey y'all what's up and welcome back so in this video i'll be doing another recreation so this one here is from 2009 and actually at the time it was one of my favorites um i was going for like a tetris feel but to me it just kind of looks like you know checkered board i guess <laughs> but anyway i'll be recreating this one today all right so i've already filed and prepped and now i'm applying my dehydrator and primer but anyway, I'm going to do my fill-in using the natural pink acrylic and I'm just applying that around the cuticle area and you know, filling in the spaces where my nail grew out. Um, this is just fairly simple, so I'm just speeding through this. But if you want to see how I did this design, I will leave um, a link down below and also in the cards. And everything that I use will be linked down below. All right, so this is after all of the nails have set and I have filed, shaped, and buffed. And now I'm going to take this Madam Glam Perfect White Gel Polish. Um, and this is gonna serve as my base for the color because since we're working over a previous design, we don't want any of that glitter to show through. So I'm using this as my base. And um, this coat here is just very thin, but it's also even. Try to make it as even as possible. But, but yeah, as you can see, I'm basically using that to cover up the glitter tips. So after applying the white base, I cured that in my LED lamp. And now I'm moving on to this gorgeous blue gel polish from Madame Glam. And I'm applying this over that base. And it does get messy, so you wanna make sure to clean around the cuticle areas before you cure. I only did one coat of this because, you know, we don't want the nails to be too chunky um, because it can kinda get out of hand when you're doing too many layers of gel polish. Um, so yeah, I just did one layer of this blue. And this blue polish is so pigmented that you pretty much only need one. All right, so now I am taking various colors of blue and a white, and I'm gonna use my, um, I believe this is my Alpha Striper brush I started off with, and I switched over to my Poochie's Nails um, nail art brush, but you know, use any nail art brush that you feel comfortable with. Um, but I am first doing the outline of the blocks or the squares, <laughs> and then once I get that um, kind of outline out I need to go ahead and put some more white down um, so I can have a nice even base to work on all right so I went ahead and cured that and now I'm taking more white and I'm just going to fill in some squares and after I did each square I did flash cure that in my LED lamp for about 10 seconds just so it wouldn't move and then I moved on to the next one and this is pretty much just all freehand <laughs> I have not attempted a design like this since you know the first one um, so I was kind of lost but as I was going along I kind of found my pattern and just went from there but it really helps that once I did get a square you know the um, width and a shape and everything that I liked I went ahead and flash cured that so I didn't have to worry about messing that up So this is what it looks like after all of the squares are done 
and I repeat the same thing for my middle fingernail on the French tip. For this one, I found it was a little easier to do my grid in white first, and then I filled in the blank squares. And this is where I switched over to that Poochie's Nails art brush. I will link that down below, but this one is really, really good. Um, it took me a minute to get a, the hang of it, but now I can make very, very small lines with it. And as you can see, I'm just making sure it is absolutely perfect before I move on to the next one. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this, but I honestly don't like to deal with all of the masking tape and all that, so this worked out for me. And I do get questions about what do I use to clean up the gel polish. And it's just rubbing alcohol. I think the one that I use is 91%. And that's what I use to, you know, clean around the cuticle areas and, you know, clean up any errors or anything like that. All right, so this is after all of the squares are done and I've already cured my nails in my nail lamp. And now I'm just going to outline all of these squares using black gel polish. So after all of the black outline is done, I went ahead and cured that in my nail lamp. And now I'm just going to outline the blue French tip with white. Making sure that it's perfect before I cure. Next, taking this beautiful blue glitter gel polish from Madame Glam, I'm applying this to my pinky nail. And I also decided to apply that to all of the darker blue. I just think it gives it a nice pop. Um, I definitely should have done this before I did the black outline, but you know, just be careful and kind of fill in the square. So after doing all of that, I cured in my LED lamp. And finally, I'm going in with the Poochie Snails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. And I did a final cure in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. And this is the finished look. I really love how this recreated design turned out. The blue and white checkerboard just looks so, so cute. And even though this design took forever, <laughs> um, it's still cute and I really like how it turned out. And as I said it before, I didn't really think the 09 one was that bad, but I really, really love this new one here. So if you guys wanna check out any more of my recreated nail designs, I will leave the links down below. Head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.